elements of group 16, 17 and 18. The reactivity towards the metal. The 16 group elements reacted with the metal to form the corresponding compounds. For example, aluminum reacted with oxygen to form the aluminum oxide. Copper reacted with the sulfur to form the copper sulfide. Magnesium reacted with the selenium to form the magnesium selenide. Group 16, 17 elements. Elements of the group 17 reacted with the metal instantly to give the metal halides. Because the 17 group elements are the halogens, they are reacted with the most reactive elements like for alkali metal and alkaline earth metals to form their corresponding halides. Sodium and magnesium reacted with the chlorine and bromine, it forms the corresponding compound that is sodium chloride and magnesium bromide. In this case, the metals, metal halides having the metal in their higher oxidation states are more covalent than the lower oxidation states. And the 18 group elements are the noble gases. They do not react directly with the metals. This is the reactions of the 16, 17 and 18 groups with the halogens. Next point is the allotropy. <coughs> The allotropy means allotropy or allotropism is the property of the same chemical elements to having to exist in two or more different forms in the same physical state known as a allotropes. Sometimes another definition is of allotropes or allotropy is defined as the chemical substances present in two or more different forms having the same physical states is called as a allotropes. The allotropes may display the very different chemical and physical properties. The elements of the 16 group elements exhibits allotropy are oxygen has two allotropes O2 and O3 that is oxygen dioxygen molecule and ozone molecule. Sulfur exists in number of allotropic forms Rhombic sulfur, monoclinic sulfur are the important allotropes of the sulfur. Both are non-metallic because oxygen and sulfur, these two elements are the non-metals. The selenium exists in two allotropic forms, red and grey. That is red is a non-metallic and grey is a metallic allotropes of this selenium. Tellurium exists in two allotropic forms, crystalline and amorphous, while polonium reveals two allotropic forms alpha and beta forms. These are the allotropes of the each elements of the 16 group elements. The next part is allotropes of the sulfur. Sulfur shows there are the two allotropes rhombic sulfur and second is a monoclinic sulfur. The chart shows that there is a Rhombic sulfur that is alpha sulfur and monoclinic sulfur means beta sulfur gives there is a difference in this chart as shown in this chart. Next is oxoacids of sulfur and halogens. Oxoacids of sulfur. The sulfur forms a number of oxoacids. Some of them are unstable and cannot be isolated. They are known to be exist in aqueous solutions or in the form of their salts. Some important oxoacids of the sulfur and their structures are given in the table below. There are the six types of the acids of sulfur. The first is the sulfurous acid H2SO3, second sulfuric acid H2SO4, Third, di or pyrosulfuric acid H2H2O7. Third, fourth, peroxide monosulfuric acid H2SO5. 
पेरोक्सी डायसल्फ्रिक एसिड एच टू एच टू ओ एट एंड लास्ट वन इज अल्फ्रिक एसिड एच टू एच टू ओ थ्री दीज आर दिक्स टाइप्स ऑफ द सल्फ्रिक एसिड ऑफ सिक्स टाइप्स ऑफ द एसिड्स ऑफ सल्फर द स्ट्रक्चर्स आर स्ट्रक्चर्स एंड देर मॉलिकुलर फॉर्म्यूला आर आस्क इन एग्जामिनेशन फॉर वन और टू मार्क्स नेक्स्ट इज द ऑक्सो एसिड्स ऑफ हेलोजन्स हेलोजन फॉर्म्स देर आर द नंबर ऑफ ऑक्सो एसिड्स कंटेनिंग हाइपोक्लोरस एसिड हाइपो हेलस एसिड हेलस एसिड हेलिक एसिड एंड पर हेलिक एसिड these are the four types of the acids are formed by the halogen and there are four acids formed by the chlorine are discussed here first is a hypochlorous acid second chlorous acid third chloric acid and fourth perchloric acid now only difference is that there is a hydrogen and chlorine are same but the number of oxygen atoms are goes on increasing in hypochlorous acid there are only one oxygen atom and in case of the perchloric acid there are four oxygen atoms and these are the four structures and molecular formulas of oxo acids of the chlorine the lastly the acid strength increases from hclo to HClO4. In out of these four acids, hypochlorous acid is a weak acid having the dissociation constant 3.5 into 10 raised to minus 8. While in case of the perchloric acid, this is the strong acid. Dissociation constant is very very greater as compared to the one. Hence, the strength of oxo acids of the halogens decrease increases from hypochlorous acid to the perchloric acids the oxo acids formed by the halogens there are number of oxidation states 1 plus 1 plus 3 plus 5 and plus 7 generic names hypohalous acid hypohalous acid halic acid and perhalic acid then there are the oxo acids of fluorine chlorine bromine and iodine in this case the fluorine only forms the only one acid hypochlorous acid while other three are not formed by the fluorine because fluorine shows only one oxidation states in their compounds is a minus one while fluorine shows all the four types of the oxo acids and bromine and iodine it does not forms the bromous acid or iodous acid while hypobromous bromic acid and perbromic acid are formed by the bromine atoms while iodine also form these three types of the acids but it does not form the iodous acid the next important part is a compound of sulfur compound of sulfur sulfur shows there are two types of the compounds first is a sulfur dioxide and second is a sulfur trioxide out of this first compound is a sulfur dioxide the first part is a preparation there are three methods to prepare the sulfur di sulfur dioxide from the various compounds first method from sulfur sulfur dioxide gas can be prepared by burning sulfur in the air sulfur reacted with oxygen it forms the sulfur dioxide from sulfite when sodium sulfite reacted with concentrated sulfuric acid it forms sodium sulfite water with the elimination of this sulfur dioxide and third is uh, from sulfides when zinc sulfide and iron sulfide that is also called as a pyrite iron pyrite reacted with oxygen molecules it forms 
there is an elimination of the sulfur dioxide for with formation of the zinc and iron oxides there are these three methods out of these three methods the industrial method is a most commonly used for the preparation of the sulfur dioxides the next one is the physical properties of the sulfur dioxide sulfur dioxide is a colorless gas with pungent smell it is poisonous in nature sulfur dioxide is highly soluble in water and its solubility in water is called sulfurous acid h2so3 it liquefies at room temperature under the pressure to atmosphere and boils at a 263 kelvin these are the four physical properties of sulfur dioxide then the chemical properties there are five chemical properties out of these first is a reaction with chlorine sulfur dioxide reacted with the chlorine in the presence of charcoal it forms the socl2 thionyl chloride as a thionyl chloride or sulfuryl chloride this so2cl2 is used for the preparation of the alkyl halide that is alkyl chloride from alcohols and there is a best method for the preparation of the alkyl chloride thionyl chloride or sulfuryl chloride second is a reaction with oxygen sulfur dioxide reacted with oxygen in the presence of vanadium pentoxide it forms the sulfur trioxide third one reaction with sodium hydroxide sulfur dioxide readily reacted with a sodium hydroxide to forms sodium sulfide with elimination of this water molecule because this is highly reactive because so2 is acidic in nature reaction with a sodium sulfide when this sodium sulfide again reacted with water and sulfur dioxide it forms a sodium hydrogen sulfide reacted with water it forms a sodium hydrogen sulfide these are the four reactions fifth reactions include the reducing property and this reducing properties are most important part of the reactions of sulfur this sulfur dioxide acts as a reducing agent in the presence of moisture it reduces the ferric salt to the ferrous salt fe3 plus ions reacted with the sulfur dioxide in the presence of moisture that is h2 it forms fe2 plus with sulfate ions and 4h plus ions second it is redu reduces the potassium permanganate to the mang manganese sulfate that is moist sulfur dioxide decolorizes acidic potassium permanganate seven solution kmno4 reduces to the mnso4 the moist sulfur dioxide reduces halogens to halogen acid iodine reacted with the sulfur dioxide and water it forms a sulfuric acid and 2h i in this case the iodine is converted into the h i because in elemental state i2 oxidation state is zero and in case of the h i this is a minus 1 these are the five reducing these are the five properties chemical properties of the sulfur out of this the fifth property is very important next one is the structure of sulfur dioxide sulfur dioxide is angular with yes o yes o bond angle having the 190 119.5 degree the yes o double bond arises from the d pi p pi bonding d pi p pi bonding it is a resonance hybrid of two canonical forms these are the two canonical forms and yes o this double bond is arises due to the d pi p pi bonding 
नेक्स्ट इज यूजेस ऑफ सल्फर डाइऑक्साइड सल्फर डाइऑक्साइड इज यूज एज द फर्स्ट इज द रिफाइनिंग ऑफ द पेट्रोल एंड शुगर इन ब्लीचिंग ऑफ द वूल एंड सिल्क एज एन एंटी क्लोरल डिस इन्फेक्टेंट एज अ प्रिजर्वेटिव इन द मैन्युफैक्चर ऑफ द सल्फर सल्फरिक एसिड सोडियम हाइड्रोजन सल्फाइट एंड लास्टली लिक्विड एसो टू इज यूज एज अ सॉल्वन to dissolve a number of organic and inorganic chemicals and due to this high applications of sulfur dioxide this is widely used in chemistry sulfuric acid sulfuric acid is also called as a king of chemicals because in number of chemicals this sulfuric acid is used for their preparation or reduction of that compounds the first part is the preparation of the sulfuric acid sulfuric acid is manufactured by the contact process which involves the following three steps first is sulfur or sulfide ores are converted into their sulfur dioxide sulfur is burns in the air for the sulfur dioxide and iron pyrite reacted with the 11 oxygen molecules and heat it forms there is a fe2o3 that is ferric oxide and sulfur dioxide then sulfur dioxide is oxidizes oxidizes catalytically with oxygen to sulfur trioxide in the presence of fe2o5 as a catalyst therefore sulfur dioxide converted into the sulfur trioxide this reaction is exothermic and reversible and the forward reaction leads to decrease in the volume due to so2 reacted with o2 to forms only one so3 molecules therefore the low temperature and high pressure are favorable conditions for maximum yield of the sulfur trioxide third step there is the sulfur trioxide gas is absorbed in the concentrated sulfuric acid to produce the oleum and this oleum means h2h2o7 this is also called as a fuming sulfuric acid this fuming sulfuric acid is on dilution to form so there is a desired concentration of the sulfuric acid and the concentration of the sulfuric acid in this contact process is 96 to 98% pure and therefore this method of the preparation of the sulfuric acid is most most widely used in the industries next part is the physical properties of the sulfur sulfuric acid sulfuric acid is a colorless dense oily liquid and it has a density 1.84 grams per cm cube at 298 kelvin 1.84 grams per cm cube at 298 kelvin means 25 degree celsius the chemical properties first is a acidic property sulfuric acid ionizes in aqueous solution in two steps the first step sulfuric acid reacted with a water molecules it forms h3o plus ions hydronium ions with elimination of the hso4 minus and when the k value is less than 10 and second case this hso4 minus reacted with the h2o it forms h3o plus with elimination of this sulfate ions k value 1.2 into 10 raise to 2 the greater the value of the k means h2so4 is strongly dissociated into h plus and hso4 minus ions thus h2so4 is a strong acid reactions with metals and non metals of the sulfuric acids sulfuric acid reacts with the metals they can forms their corresponding 
sulfates that is copper reacted with the sulfuric acid it forms copper sulfate with elimination of sulfur dioxide and water sulfur reacted with the sulfuric acid it forms a sulfur dioxide with elimination of the water the next one is a dehydrating property in this dehydrating properties the concentrated sulfuric acid reacted with a sugar it forms carbon and water molecules the sulfuric acid removes the water from the sugar and carbohydrates the carbon left behind is called as a sugar charcoal and the process is called charring or carrying this is the most important part next one are the uses of the sulfuric acid then the chlorine chlorine and their compounds of chlorine the preparation of the chlorine this chlorine contains the chlorine gas chlorine can be prepared by the oxidation of the hydrochloric acid with any of the following oxidizing agents first is the manganese dioxide when this manganese dioxide reacted with the hcl molecules it forms there is a manganese dichloride with elimination of this chlorine ga gas and water molecules this is the first method for the preparation of chlorine molecules second the manufacture of the chlorine there are two methods first is a decons process and second is a electrolytic process the decons process contains when the hcl reacted with oxygen in the presence of cupric chloride it forms there is a chlorine gas with elimination of the water molecules this reaction is carried out at a 723 kelvin and in this reaction catalyst is a cupric chloride this is also important method for the preparation of this chlorine second is the electrolytic process this electrolytic process contains the electrolysis of the brine that is concentrated in a cell solution in this case the chlorine is liberated at the anodic compartment and this explanations are already studied in case of the electrochemistry electrolysis of the molten nacl as well as the aqueous nacl the same process involves there is a cathode and anode reactions at cathode there is a formation of this naoh while at anode there is a evolution of the chlorine gas next one part is a physical properties of the chlorine chlorine is a greenish yellow gas having the pungent and suffocation odor it is a poisonous in nature it can be easily liquefied into greenish yellow liquid which boils at 293 kelvin it dissolves in water to gives the chlorine water and it is 2 5 times heavier than the air 2 to 5 times heavier than the air these are the five physical properties of the chlorine then the chemical properties of the chlorine chlorine reacted with the metals it forms with their corresponding chlorides for example aluminum sodium and iron reacted with chlorine to forms aluminum chloride sodium chloride and ferric chloride reacted with non metals when phosphorus and sulfur reacted with chlorine it forms phosphorus trichloride and sulfur chloride yes to cl2 disulfur dichloride then the reactions with the alkali chlorine reacts with a cold and dilute alkali to produce the mixture of chlorine and hypochlorites for example the sodium hydroxide cold and dilute it forms the it reacted with the chlorine it forms sodium chloride and sodium hypochlorite with elimination of this water also when the sodium hydroxide at hot and concentrated condition reacted with chlorine it forms sodium chloride sodium chlorate and 
water molecules at cold condition it forms the sodium hypochlorite and for hot and concentrated condition it forms the sodium chlorate chlorine when reacted with a dry slacked lime gives the bleaching powder slacked lime means there is a calcium hydroxide chlorine gas reacted with the calcium hydroxide it forms the bleaching powder means calcium oxy chloride calcium oxy chloride with this is the formula of the bleaching powder calcium oxy chloride then calcium chloride and also water molecules is formed reaction with the hydrocarbons chlorine gas reacted with the methane in the presence of ultraviolet light it forms methyl chloride and hydrochloric acid also this chlorine reacted with ethene unsaturated compounds then there is a addition reaction takes place that is from ethene produces there is a 1 to dichloroethane these are the chemical reactions of chlorine. next is affinity for hydrogen chlorine gas greater affinity for hydrogen it reacted with the hydrogen and compounds containing hydrogen to forms the hcl suppose this is the hydrogen sulfide reacted with the chlorine it forms hydrochloric acid with elimination of this sulfur h2 reacted with the chlorine cl2 gas it forms hcl reactions with ammonia ammonia reacted with the chlorine forms the ammonium chloride with elimination of the n2 gas if the excess of chlorine gas is used then it forms nitrogen trichloride this is a exclusive compound with elimination of the hcl reactions with ammonia there are two parts excess of ammonia forms ammonium chloride excess of chlorine gas forms the nitrogen trichloride last one is a bleaching property chlorine requires the presence of moisture for bleaching it liberates the nascent oxygen from water which is responsible for its oxidizing and bleaching property chlorine gas reacted with water it forms hcl and hypochlorous acid this hypochlorous acid forms the resid hcl and this nascent oxygen and this nascent oxygen can mix the decolor to the or bleaching action bleaching action on the vegetables or the matter therefore colored organic compound with nascent oxygen colorless organic matter and this is a important property of the chlorine gas the next one is a uses of chlorine the uses of chlorine contains it is used for the purification of drinking water it is also used as extraction of the metals like gold and platinum in the manufacture of the dyes drugs organic compounds such as ccl4 chcl3 ddt refrigerants etc in the preparation of the poisonous gases such as phosgene tear gas mustard gas are used this chlorine and these are the uses of the chlorine gas the next point is important point for all examinations containing interhalogen compounds the interhalogen compounds when two or more halogen atoms combines to forms the neutral molecules are called as interhalogen compounds this is a most important point for hsc board examination due to the difference in electronegativities between two or more halogen atoms combines to form species which may be ionic or neutral for example clf brf etc the interhalogen compounds is regarded as the halides to more electropositive halogens a given halogen forms and interhalogen compounds only with the halogen having lesser electronegativity for example there is a various types of the interhalogen compounds in this interhalogen compounds fluorine chlorine bromine and iodine their compounds if the smaller sites 
containing halogen combines with a larger side of the halogen that is this is the most electro negative fluorine is most electro negative and chlorine is less electro negative therefore they shows their compounds clf clf3 clf5 etc and this most electro negative elements are maximum as compared to the less electro negative elements and this is a chart shows the various types of the interhalogen compounds in this chart there is a shows that depending on their composition interhalogen compounds are classified into the four types x x dash contains this is a diatomic molecules second x x dash 3 these are the tetraatomic molecules the most electro negative elements the halogen having their maximum number combines with the lower electro negative elements x x dash 5 and x x dash 7 if 7 this is the only one compounds in general that is x x dash n x is a halogen having larger size and is more electro positive while x dash contains the halogen having the smaller size and more electro negative and these are the interhalogen compounds the next one is the uses of interhalogen compounds x x dash and x x dash 3 icl is used to determine the iodine value of oils and x x dash 3 for the preparation of the polyhalides it is used as a catalyst for the oxidation of the as3 it is used as a fluorinating agents for the preparation of the polyhalides and it is used for as a non aqueous solvents this point is same in both the cases xx dash and xx dash 3 this chart table number 7.11 shows that the structure for of some interhalogen compounds in this case icl is a linear clf3 bent shaped bent t shaped brf3 bent t shaped brf5 square pyramidal clf5 is a square pyramidal this is chart their formula name structure and shape of that compounds then the oxidation states of central atom in interhalogen compounds where central oxidation state central halogen is plus 7 plus 5 plus 3 and plus 1 number of lone pair of electron 0 1 2 3 and these are the examples this chart is similar to that of the classification chart both the chart are same but in this chart only the separation of the oxidation states are given and the last classification chart shows that only there is a examples with their corresponding types x x dash x x dash 3 x x dash 5 and x x dash 7 both chart are the same the last points are take for homeworks uses of helium neon and argon these are the uses of helium and lastly these are the uses of neon and argon take for homework it is read and remains as it is and this uses for the noble gases containing neon argon and helium are important for two marks in our hsc board examination at this point thank you